Tip number two. Just do it. The options that you choose have to be actions, not hypotheses. Only an action can move the scenario forward, although these actions will be based upon your hypotheses. So you will have reasons for your choices, and you will actually come up with reasons why the particular options are being taken. But the only thing that actually matters in the scenario moving forward is what action you actually take. So look at some examples. If a structural support in a bridge is failing, then the options are the actions taken to remedy it, not the reasons why you actually thought the bridge was collapsing. If a patient has a viral infection, the options are the actions taken and not the possible diagnoses or which particular virus. OK, let's take an example in more detail. This would be somebody working in an area where there's actually a telephone switchboard. You're trying to finish a presentation. You have five minutes left. You're working customer service. There's no one else around and the phone rings. It may be an important customer, but the time is almost up. It's a rule that whoever is around answers the phone. What do you do? Answer the call is option one and abide by the rules. Option two is ignore the phone call and get your presentation done. In each case, you have to think through the processes that go through your mind as to why you should do each of those options. But then at the end, you have to actually take an option.